Hello, um, here's a little video to show how to create cabinets with decorative panels on the end of a cabinet or on the side of a cabinet leaving the main box of the cabinet in the uh, carcass material. So if we start a new box, let's just take any method here. So just take, let's just put this in English so that we can have the everything in English. So if I start a new cabinet, I can just take a method here, any old method. Um, we can see if we look in 3D that this method has built us a cabinet with a light carcass material, um, a wooden back, let's put this in 3D and now what we want to do if we wanted to put a for instance on the left hand side if we wanted to put a uh, decorative panel what we can do is we can say if I go over here and I we can use the external zones and if you say on the left hand side I want a de decorative panel I'm going to take a left hand side external zone I know my panels are 19 millimeters thick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the the zone 19. Point 0, 0.01 millimeters thick, a little bit more than 19. This will enable me now to put my mouse over it and click right and add an upright. Now, the upright I have, I will have to create a specific type of panel for a decorative end panel here. I've created, I'm just going to take here an upright number 5. This is a panel type that I'm using. Now this, this could be renamed in the by using um, the tools in the tools menu we can rename this upright decorative panel or something like this I'm just going to use this upright decor upright 5 as a decorative panel I'm going to just put it here and we can see that the panel has actually been added here okay for the time being it just looks as this one is thicker here in 3d because the upright decorative 5 has got no it's the same material but if I associate this with a material style and here we have the material style for this particular um, um, cabinet if I add a rule which says that my uprights so I go divisions here uprights and I take upright fives are no longer this material which is this carcass material but the facade material for instance so now if I apply this to my um, cabinet I will see that I now get the decorative panel coming in now so we have here um, a model cabinet with a decorative panel on the left hand side we can do the same for the right we can do so for both sides etc using the as I was saying here the external zones making them um, just a little bit thicker a bit, a bit deeper the external zone than the thickness of the panel now the other thing that um, that we need is for if we want specific edging on different edging on the carcass and on the upright five well this is the edging style so I would go then to edging style and say that for instance I want to put a specific edging on I'll take this edging style here now this edging style is going to put a specific edging on my carcass so I've got red edging on my carcass here if I want another specific a specific edge on the upright I'll change the edging style so I'll go over here and in this specific edging style we would just add a specific edging for the division which is called upright 5 so here we've got the upright 5 which is a specific type of upright which is going to be the decorative end panels and for the upright part 5 when it's in front of a in on the front edge of the upright 5 here I'm going to put an edge and we're going to let's, let's put a specific edge, which is let's put a specific number three edge. And I click OK. Now I apply that style. Now we have a specific edging on the cabinet and a specific edging on the upright five. So that particular style, if we say that we want that this particular style to be in our library, I will take the style just modifying the cabinet. Let's create a style and we'll call it facade. Two, and I'm going to put no, I'm going to put a little bit of extension on it. End panels, end panel. Okay, so this is going to be my specific end panel style now. Okay, 
so now whenever I put in whenever I put create a new panel create a new cabinet for instance I can create a new cabinet here we can take that box shape cabinet coming in here uh, we can say now for instance we want decorative panels on either side so I'll just go to my external zones and put on the right side a 19.01 space on the left side also a 19.01 space uh, in, in, is, in this side here I'm going to put an upright but upright 5 in this side here I'm also going to put in an upright 5 I'm going to put upright 5 and if I look at it for the, for the moment we have no particular style to it the panels are all the same but if I take the material style and I add that particular to that material style that the division that the upright fives have on them the facade material and both sides of facade materials now this style could also be put in a manufacturing method if you want to and if we want to if we want to add the um, end panel end panel um, edging style to it we just add end panel edging style and the, and the end panels will be edged differently and this could be all put into the same if we want to we can put this into it same manufacturing method so that it will all come in automatically when we start building thanks for looking bye